Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the ignition coils on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. This is the same for the 2003 to 2008 Toyota Corollas and very similar on the years of either side of that. It's also similar for the models such as the Matrix, the Scion, and other Toyota models. Um, I wanted to talk about some things your car might be doing if you do have a bad ignition coil or coils. If you're lucky, your check engine light will come on, and when you plug in your code reader, you'll get a code back that pertains to something with the ignition coils. That's if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, there could be a whole host of other things going on with your car. You may have decreased fuel economy. Uh, you may have poor performance, sluggish acceleration. Um, your car may stall. There may be backfiring, misfiring. Um, your car could have rough idling. All those are symptoms of a potential bad ignition coil or coils. Um, okay, so... For safety, we want to make sure that we wear a pair of nitrile gloves to protect our hands and a pair of safety goggles to protect our eyes while we're working on a vehicle. And the first thing that we need to do is to disconnect the battery. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and get the battery disconnected. Um, whenever you disconnect the battery, always disconnect the negative post uh, first um, and then the positive one after and never um, you know when you are disconnecting never just guess that you know this is you know because it's black that this is negative and because this is red with a positive sign on it this is positive go off what the battery says so find the negative sign and the positive sign on the battery so you know which one's negative and which one's positive so in this case here's the negative sign so we're going to go ahead and disconnect that one first Um, I got a 10 millimeter wrench here, and whenever you're you're uh, disconnecting a battery too, make sure that um, you know you don't bridge the two terminals together with something metal uh, or ground out like with your wrench touch, touching your wrench to the car, anything like that. So just be really careful. Um, we'll take off the negative one here, and we will. There we go. And then we're just going to put it somewhere where it can't accidentally reconnect. Which for now, it looks like right there. And then now that we have the negative disconnected, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the positive. Yeah, you can see that my battery definitely needs cleaned here. And then we're going to set the uh, positive one off to the side too, just somewhere where it's not going to be able to accidentally uh, touch the terminal, the post there. Okay. All right, guys, once you have your battery disconnected, we're going to remove this cover next. There are two 10 millimeter nuts that are holding the cover on. So we're going to loosen those up um, by turning um, the 10 millimeter socket counterclockwise. Okay, that one's off. Let's get this next one here. Okay, that one's off as well. Once you have both of those off, you can remove the cover here. And just be not careful not to lose either of the nuts there. And we'll just set this to the side. These are the two bolts that the nuts attach to. Just make sure that they don't come out when you remove the cover. You want to make sure that they're in place. They should just be a little bit more than hand tight. This is aluminum. You never want to over tighten anything because you could end up cross threading uh, the threads or stripping the threads. Um, all of that is bad news and would be a very costly repair um, if something like that happened. Okay. All right, guys, here are our ignition coils right here, um, the four of them. Um, they're all held on by one 10 millimeter bolt and then the electrical connector. We're also going to have to remove this wire harness bar back here. Um, it prevents some of the ignition coils from coming out. There's a 10 millimeter nut behind this electrical connector, and then there's one right over here as well. Um, we'll show you how to remove those. To get the electrical connector off, let me see if I can do this uh, one-handed here. Okay, remember that these are old and brittle, so take your time. Uh, you don't want to break one. If you did, 
you could replace these, but that would be quite the job, something that you don't want to get into. So much better to just take your time, be gentle, and get these off uh, the right way. There's a tab here on the back, and if you press down with it, uh, or press down on it with your thumb, you can see how the front of the tab lifts up, and it disconnects it from the ignition coil. So we're going to go ahead and press down with our thumb, and then we should just be able to pull it straight off like so. Okay, now that we've gotten that one disconnected, let me get the tripod put back in place, and we'll disconnect the other three. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and get the other three removed here. There's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. All right, guys, after the electrical connectors are all detached, uh, there's a 10 millimeter nut here and here. I've already loosened these just to save us a little time. And you can take those off with the 10 millimeter socket wrench. Uh, be careful not to uh, lose them or drop them down into the engine uh, area there where it might get lost. Let's go ahead and set these to the side. And then we can take our uh, wire harness here, the bar, and just move it out of the way like so. Um, that way you can get to the back ignition coils here and be able to get them out. All right, guys, once the wire harness bar is out of the way, um, we can undo one ignition coil at a time and replace it. Um, this is a 10 millimeter bolt here. We're gonna turn counterclockwise to get this bolt out. And then once you have the bolt out, you can pull the ignition coil straight out. And if you're not replacing the ignition coil right away, make sure to cover this hole. You don't want to get anything down in there. Um, but yeah, let me show you what the ignition coil looks like. All right, so this is the OEM um, ignition coil here. Uh, mine's still working fine. I don't have an issue with it, so we're just going to reinstall this one. Um, this is the bottom, the boot here. This goes over the spark plug. Um, you know, at the bottom of the hole that we just took this out of is where the spark plug is. Um, so if you had a new one to replace, this is when you would do it right now. But we're going to go ahead and replace it with the existing one because this one is fine. Um, and how we put this back in is you just gently straight down, same way that you took it out. And you want to make sure that, bottom, that the bottom of that boot fits over the spark plug like it's supposed to and then just sets into place. Once you have it into place, stick the bolt back in and hand tighten it. Don't use a socket wrench or a torque wrench or anything yet, just get it hand tightened. And then if you do have a torque wrench, um, these get torqued to 80 inch pounds which is 6.67 foot-pounds. Um, if you don't have a torque wrench, you're going to make sure it's hand tight. I'm going to use my uh, socket here just to get it hand tight like so. And then we are going to just move it slightly past hand tight, not even an eighth of a turn. Um, you don't want to over tighten these or you risk uh, stripping or cross threading. Uh, the aluminum here, um, which is a very expensive repair and something that you don't want to mess with. Um, so once you have it hand tight, we're going to stick the 10 millimeter socket on there like so. Um, and we're going to turn clockwise for not even an eighth of a turn, just like that. That's it. Okay, guys. And if you had more to replace, this is where you would continue on and do the next one. Do them one at a time. Um, and just replace them one at a time, just like I showed you. Um, once you're done replacing one or all four, however many you're replacing, we will uh, secure the wire harness bar back into place. So let's go ahead and do that now. Sets down there like so, and then we're going to put the two 10 millimeter nuts back on. And I'm just using my hand here to get them hand tight at first. And one thing I like to do in tight spaces 
is I just use the socket to get them hand tight. Like so. Same thing with these. Um, once you have them into place, we're going to turn clockwise for not even an eighth of a turn just to get them a little past hand tight like so. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put back on the electrical connectors. And when you put the electrical connectors back on, um, you'll hear them snap into place. That's how you know that they're in there, right? Like so. There's one. There's another one. And another. And... The last. Okay, and then once we have those back in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the cover. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the cover here. Just sets down there like so, and then we'll put the 10 millimeter nuts in there. Can't quite reach your hand in there, or your fingers. So I'm going to use the socket here to get them started. That one's hand tight. We'll get this one hand tight now. Okay, same thing. Once those are on and hand tight, we're going to turn clockwise for not even an eighth of a turn just to get them a little past hand tight. Like so. And now we're going to go ahead and rehook up our battery. Okay, guys, when we hook up a battery, we're going to go ahead and put our positive cable on first. Um, and here's our positive cable, and we're putting it on the positive terminal, as we can see the little plus sign on the battery. Make sure that's pushed all the way down. And then we'll get the nut tightened on there. There we go, and then we'll put the cover back on here, like so. And then we'll go ahead and hook up the negative cable to the negative post. We can see the little minus sign on the battery there. Like so, and we'll just make sure that that's pushed all the way down. And then we can use our 10 millimeter wrench to get that tight. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. Well, that was it. Uh, wasn't too bad, was it? Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, in one of my next videos, we'll go ahead and show how to uh, replace the spark plugs in this car. Um, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.